There is a grace and beauty to fly fishing. You're gonna step into that stream. You're gonna breathe fresh air. You're gonna see some of God's most beautiful creation. And you're just gonna have time for yourself. When was the last time you had an adventure for yourself? I think women naturally care for others. So the idea of taking care of themselves, that's the last on the list. I think sometimes they don't even realize how very tired they are. They get so depleted that they can't pour into others. I think especially for women, moms, who tend to serve and want to serve others, this was a time when I felt really allowed and permitted to be served and just soak in the way that God wanted us to hear. Don't have to lift a finger. We want you to just come and spend time specifically on you. And it was really about people looking to take care of us and not have us taking care of other people. And really that was the beginning of us starting to understand what taking care of our soul was all about. There is something just absolutely beautiful about the art and beauty of fly fishing. And if you've never done it before, there's no need to worry. We're gonna provide you with everything that you need, including guides who are gonna come alongside you. They're gonna show you what to do. They're gonna teach you how to read the waters, how to find the fish. So you're not doing this alone. We're gonna be on this adventure with you, uh, but you're gonna experience something you've never experienced before. It's something that a lot of women don't have exposure to. I just loved sort of the peace and quiet and the, the rhythm of the fishing. Well, the fishing was amazing. I mean, every single day was different. It was amazing to me how God was so present in each one of those adventures that we did. Watching other women experiencing that rush is incredible to see. When you get that first bite, that first snag on the line, you feel you've caught that fish and you reel it in yourself, there's a joy and an excitement. It just can't be explained. You've something you've accomplished. You've done it yourself. It was so much more than about fishing. It was about strength. It was about knowing that you're capable of doing more. And catching 13 fish was definitely a bonus. It stretched me and I loved that. I loved doing something that I'd never done. It was kind of a victory, which is a beautiful thing. We want women to walk away just renewed and ready to face just even the day to day. Um, we watch the transformation happen. They're, they're lighter, they're more joyful. They actually can't wait to get back to their home waters and to really share what they've learned, but also put it into practice. You just really see that brightness, that hope about them. Coming here was more like a rescue, and now I'm like, okay, let's do this. Let's get back into the rhythms of what real life is. So this was an incredible reset button for me, and I feel like I really started to develop and understand my relationship with God, which is more than I could have asked for. There's a freedom that these women realize. They put down that mask they may have been wearing, and sometimes they're wearing several masks, but they remember who they are, and they get to go back with that freedom. And I think throughout my life, I've kind of you know, let myself be the last person. I'm learning that I need to kind of take care of my own soul first. We're not going through this alone, and we're not the only one who, you know, has those kind of struggles. You know, there's definitely parallels to your life journey in that regard, that you can get to the top of the mountain, and sometimes it's really hard to get there, but it's worth the journey, it's worth the work. When we have these retreats, we watch women come, and you can see what they're carrying. And within a matter of hours even, you see that come down, you see their shoulders relax, and you see the joy. Make the commitment to get away, to refill your soul, to connect with God, and to start living from a place of abundance.